Beautiful product photography is key when it comes to selling stuff online, but it can be hard to make your products pop when you're working with limited resources. Well, it used to be. If you want to make your shots look pro and stop your audience from scrolling on, stick around and I'll show you how to achieve eight different looks in under 10 minutes. Roughly a look per minute? Sounds impossible, I know. Let's see if it can be done. Hey, I'm Tom. I'm a product marketing manager here at Canva. In today's tutorial, you'll learn how to create eight amazing product backgrounds. We'll cover everything from how to remove and replace backgrounds to adding photo effects like shadows, blurs, and gradients to help attract attention. For more great design tips and tricks, like and subscribe now. That way, you won't miss out on any of our new weekly videos. All right, first things first. Before we dive into the world of backgrounds, let's ensure your product is looking smick and photo ready. Before you even hit that shutter, there's a number of things you should consider. Position, lighting, and background. Now let's pretend that, say, you run an online store selling secondhand sneakers and you mostly advertise new items on Instagram. Now, for all the sneakerheads out there, I should just mention I have absolutely no idea whatsoever if these shoes are worth anything. Each pair have been positioned to display the entire product and show off its best angle. Carefully consider whether you shoot your product from above or side on, as this can help highlight different details and add interest. Make sure you've got adequate lighting. Try to eliminate shadows and take advantage of natural light when possible. Keep the background simple. Ideally, you want to shoot your product against one solid colour. If that's not possible, select a background that makes sense and aligns with the product's purpose. On that note, let me show you how to replace the background with a colour or shape. Upload your photo into a blank Instagram template. Now, to remove the background, go to Edit Image and hit Background Remover. You'll need to be a pro subscriber to access this feature, but it is definitely worth it. See how easy that was. Now I can simply change the background colour or add a shape behind the sneakers to liven it up. If you're keen on keeping the background but want to tone it down a little, let me show you how to add a blur without it impacting the object you're focusing on. Canva has a one button photo effect called autofocus. It works just like background remover, but blurs the background instead of removing it. Click on the edit button here and select autofocus. And it's done. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's say you don't like the original background, but you want to keep your product in a real world environment. You can search for photos under elements here. I'm thinking a basketball court might look cool and would help the customer visualize themselves wearing the shoes while shooting hoops. Now I have a photo in place, I want to apply a black and white filter to give it a retro look. Since we've already got some great options to advertise this blue sneaker, how about we move on to creating some designs for this brand new pair of kicks. With the tag still attached, we want to do everything we can to grab the attention of our online audience. This design ought to do it. I found this awesome radial pattern just by searching in elements. There are so many to choose from. It was a difficult decision. This was the other one I was actually tossing up between. All right, let me show you how it looks. I'll just duplicate this design and switch out the background. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer out of the blue or the yellow and whether you're keen to try it out. I'd love to see what you come up with too. Now, for this next design, I'm going to leave the original background as is and show you how to jazz things up by adding a gradient effect. I'll start by duplicating this image so there are two identical layers, then remove the background of the top layer. Now, I'll search for a gradient that I can slot in between the two layers. If you're wondering why I added the word editable to my search, it was so I can change the colors up here. For the lighter color, I'll pick yellow and for the darker, I think I'll go with black. I might just bring the opacity down a bit so the background shows through. The final effect I want to show you today is shadow. The thing I like about this effect is that it can be used to create two totally different looks. As you can see, the first look incorporates a simple drop shadow. 
This has been added using the shadow tool in the editor. You can find it by scrolling down here. To achieve this particular look, you'll want to select the drop shadow, then adjust the angle, transparency, and the blur. Another thing I want to point out is where to find this awesome background. If you type product backgrounds into elements, you'll not only find this one, but a ton of others just like it. I'm a huge fan of these because they give your design such a polished, professional look. Now, let's check out another way to use the shadow effect. I'll drag this onto a new page and head back to where I was before. This time, I'm going to hit Glow and up the size and transparency. I'll select yellow to match the shoe and the background I've got in mind for this one. Now, before I add a background, I'm going to enlarge the image so it takes up at least three quarters of the page. Now I'll head to Images for my photo background. This one ties in perfectly with the color and style of the shoes. That's all we've got time for today, but I have no doubt that those eight effects have provided plenty of inspiration. If you'd like me to cover some more advanced techniques, like say 3D illusion, type more in the comments and I'll make sure it happens. There really are some crazy effects you can create that are sure to sell those shoes. Ah, okay, so you might be wondering how this applies to other products. It's a great question with a really easy answer. Everything I've just shown you can be applied to any product photography. Let's take on one of Etsy's biggest growth areas, bath and beauty products. Just apply background remover. Throw in a background, add some interesting shapes. Add a shadow, graphic backgrounds, it's exactly the same premise. Once you learn the basics, you can apply it to anything. As you experiment, you'll start to think up more complex and interesting compositions you can use with Background Remover. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you're still here, I'm guessing you found this video helpful. Make sure you like it so others can see it too. And why not subscribe while you're at it? See you next time.